All right, team, it is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and I'm a bit jazzed, I'm a bit pumped up because I was just outside riding my skateboard, so my heart's, my heart's a little high, I'm kinda hot. Take off this jacket. The reason why I'm recording this video is because I was on Reddit. Somebody said, hey, I've done all this work, I've gone to school, I've graduated, I got this job, and I feel like I don't know what's going on. They feel like the stuff that they that they learned, they know they learned a lot. They know they understand the technology and what, and what the, the company is doing, and they know how to do it, but for some reason they feel like they can't. They're looking at the code and they, they don't, they don't, they're not sure they understand it, they don't know if they're reading it right. Then when they go to make the updates they're supposed to make, they're going, they're working off this, this task sheet and they're going down these tasks and then they go to submit their code and it comes back and there's comments all over it. We've all had some kind of experience with this. You work on this paper real hard in school and you turn it in and you get it back and you got an F and you're like, damn, man, I'm stupid. I don't know what's, what's going on here. You set out to build something and, and you, you get it all put together and then you have a canister of pieces left and you're going, this, this, this can't be safe. I, I gotta, I gotta get somebody else to do this thing. Whatever, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, team. But here's the deal, right? If you got to this place and you decided you were going to embark on that journey, you're going to go down that road. You're going to build this thing. You're going to apply for this job. You are stepping out of your comfort zone because it is probably a place you've never been before. That's why you feel the way you feel. You've never done anything quite like this. Now, I will tell you this. If you're here right now watching this video, you've done a lot of things. No matter how lazy you believe you are, no matter how much you procrastinate, I guarantee at some point there was something that you felt like you could not do and you did it. I'll give you a very good example right now. Check it out team, when you were born, you didn't know how to walk. You didn't know nothing about feet, legs, toes, nothing. You were just a ball of, of worthless nothingness. Then one day, for whatever reason, you said, everybody else is walking around, I'm gonna walk around. You rolled over your little blob of mushy nothingness, just a, a ball of, of baby nonsense. You waddled your way a little bit and boom, you're up on your hands and knees and now you're crawling. You get over to the couch and you raise yourself up and now, now you're standing, you're, you're standing at the couch and you're like, yo, it's time to roll. Boom, you swing, you take one arm off, and you're like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And you take a step, and you, it's wobbly. You don't know what's going on, you don't know these things. Everybody else is using them, you don't even know what they're called. But you're about to put them into motion, you're about to make this happen, you're about to do this thing. You take a step, and then you fall over, and you go, oh, sh Cry a little bit, your mom picks you up, she brushes you off, puts you back down. In your mind, you're like, yo, man, why am I trying to do this in the first place? I don't need to walk. I just scream and people pick me up, take me where I want to go. But something inside of you, something inside of you was like, hey, you were meant to do this. You were meant to walk. Now, some of you out there, everything is so politically correct these days, you're like, Cass, what if you don't have no leg? When you were this little blob of goo and just this gooey thing who didn't know nothing, just the most ignorant thing on the planet Earth, even if you didn't have legs, you didn't no, you still wanted to walk and it was in your mind. Then one day you was like, well, dude, if I ain't got no legs, I'm gonna use my hands. And now you're walking on your hands. People do this. This, this is how we work. We adapt. We overcome. That's what you were sent here for. We were all sent here on a mission. Maybe not even sent. I believe that a lot of us volunteer to be here. We are here in this huge experiment called life. There is something we want to accomplish. There's something we want to do, something we want to learn, something we want to experience. We're here for that. You're watching this video because the universe said you are the one. It made me sit down in front of this camera and record this video specifically for you because right now you need this information. You need this knowledge. I'm going to tell you a story about myself, team, and I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to try to keep it to around 10 seconds. I joined the army. I was in the army for 14 and a half years. I deployed three times and I ran three very, very, very major operations. One was communications in the first Iraq national democratic election. Whether that election was above board, I don't know. I will tell you this, for whatever reason, there were a lot of pregnant women in Iraq on election day. We were sending ambulances all over the place. It was, it was crazy. Then I end up in Afghanistan and somehow I end up on the security detail of the brigade commander. Go man, that was crazy. All right, I don't even, the, the, it, it, how? I'm not even an infantry guy. I'm, an, I'm a communications dude, but I was so good at communications. They said, hey, we're gonna send this guy off with the commander. Make sure wherever the commander goes, he can communicate. And we know that because we're gonna send this guy with him. And I'm out there, man, and I'm stressing out, man. We're flying on helicopter. We're doing all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, bro, am I good enough? What if the batteries die? What if I can't remember these frequencies? What if I forgot the comm sec? What if I forget the call signs? How do I call the helicopters? How do I call the jets? How do I make them rain down fire from the sky? 
this is the stuff that's going through my mind. And I'm thinking like, dude, Here's the deal, man. Everything I had done up until that point led me to that place. And it got me to this spot where some other people, they believed in me just as much as I once believed in myself. And I'm here to tell you, believe in yourself again. You got this far, you can get to the next step. But check this out. One of the reasons why you feel the way you feel is because you didn't set your goals high enough. You said, hey man, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna get this job. And Life is gonna be fantastic. But you didn't think beyond that. What are you gonna do after you get that job? What are you gonna build? Who are you gonna become? What are you gonna learn? Who are you gonna inspire? What is the life you wanna live? How do you wanna live it? What are the things you wanna do and how do you wanna do them? That's why you took the step in the first place to go off, to go to school, to pay the money, to learn this skill set, like this, 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 this new thing. It's all an experiment. We don't know if technology is gonna work. We don't know if the programming language we learned today is gonna be around tomorrow. That's how fast things are moving. Hell, man, Google could come out with, with artificial intelligence tomorrow that replaces everything. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. But does that mean we should just stop? We should lay down and die? We should turn around and go back? Should we retreat? Should we go back into our foxhole, into our cave, cover ourselves up with the sheet and just wait on somebody to come and feed us and coddle us and take care of us? Tell us who we should be, how we should think and what we should do hell to the no team that's why you're where you are right now because you said no i'm gonna go out i'm gonna do this now that you're there all you gotta do is go do it now you feel stressed out because you feel stressed out because you feel like you're not in control there are some things you do not understand how you get over those things is you break them down into small steps what needs to be done where am i trying to get to what needs to be accomplished pick a task and you work on that task and if you can if you have if you have the experience the knowledge and the foresight you put that task inside of a time box. Hey man, I'm gonna do this in an hour and you set out to do it. You turn off all distractions. You turn off all of everything. It is just you and the thing you gotta do because you're the tool that the universe is using to make this thing good as it can possibly be. And whatever way you make it, whatever way it turns out is the way it was meant to be. And say, you do this thing, you submit it to your peers and it comes back and it's got all these comments over on it and they're like, bro, you got this all wrong. That was supposed to to happen because you are on a mission to someplace bigger and the only way you can get better at doing the things that you want to do, the things you were meant to do, is to just do them. And you fail a little bit and then you get back up and you go again and you fail a little bit and you get back up and you go again and you fail a little bit and you get back up and you go again and before you know it, you're where you want to be and you're doing the things you want to do, you're living the life you want to live. But the first thing you got to do is you got to take the leap. And you, you've already taken the leap because you're here, you're this far. The next thing you got to do is you got to muster up that confidence it's in there you have it because it brought you here to this point go back in time to those difficult moments that you were having and you made your way through them and you know you made your way through them because you're here right now you're watching this video this video that was meant specifically for you i am telling you this is a message from the universe go out and do the thing you were meant to do you got this just break it down into little steps and focus your energy on solving each little problem. When something jumps up and, and you feel like you made a mistake or you did something wrong, that's good because you can ask yourself, how can I do this better next time? Because you got it wrong, your brain takes it seriously. Because you're taking it seriously, you're going, hey, I got this wrong, how do I fix this? How do I make this better? How do I not do this next time? Your brain internalizes this stuff. And then before you know it, you're the expert. People are seeking you out. People are coming to you. They're asking you all the questions because you got all the answers. All right, team, I'm your biggest fan of the real Casadero. I hope, no, no, I don't hope. If you want to get to where you want to go, that inspired you. There's no question about it. There's no doubt in my mind because this video was meant specifically for you, team. So go out and do what you got to do. It is me, your biggest fan, the real Casadero. And before I go, just to let you know, if you want a hat like this, check out rightcodedrinkcoffee.com. And if you're thinking about learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or web development, check out the code 365 startuplab.com. I got some free courses there for you, and I'm working on a paid course right now that is available. If you sign up for it, you'll be supporting the channel. If you buy any of the merchandise from Right Code Drink Coffee, you'll be supporting this channel, ensuring that I continue to make 
fire content like this specifically for you to help you get from where you are to where you want to be and overcome these obstacles now some of you you're going to have some questions i got it i understand put those questions in the comment section below if you got anything you want to share with the community put it in the comments below team other people need to hear what you have to say just keep it positive we're all here on the same planet this big spaceship we're flying through space we don't know what's going on we all got to work together team so anyway that is it all right all right i got i know there's something i should be doing i got i'm gonna edit this video then i'll upload it that's what i'll do